friends, it's me. And today we are checking out how things are actually made. Whether it's a movie set or a food commercial, got a lot of tips and tricks to make the food look better than it actually is. Burger, boring. We're gonna add some grill marks. This device is a charcoal starter. You basically burn the grill marks on it. Sorry, we ain't got a barbecue. We can't have perfect grill marks on every burger. So they gotta do it the manual way to make it look like it was barbecued. Because if we had a barbecue on set, everybody would be eating all the props. And sometimes it's not even real food. Like these burgers are all fake. Movie props. Yeah, give it a good squeeze. Not even a McDonald's burger can do that. That thing looks so good too. It's got the grill marks and everything. I can't believe it's not burger. I was today years old when I learned how loofahs were made. It was one of those things you never really think about. Just the hundreds of them just spawn in a Walmart bin for a dollar each. But like, who's making these things? Grandma? So you take the mesh, wrap it around these two poles, and then wait, that's not a loofah yet. You gotta tie the inside. Whoa, she going crisscross applesauce and then somehow I don't know what she's doing But it turned into a loofah. It's kind of making my brain hurt like the skill and precision It takes to make a loofah like you don't think about these things like there's someone out here devoting their life to making these things All for the sake of cleaning your smelly pits. I don't know what she did a little bit of this a little bit of that and poof loofah not everything you see on Instagram is what you think it is. Look how gorgeous her penthouse is. She got the most gorgeous view of the city. You wake up to that every morning. Wait a second. What happened to the bed? There was no bed. It's not a penthouse. That's not her apartment. She don't live there. It's a hotel. They got a table, put the covers on it, made it look like a bed. No. Nothing but lies. Now I see it. She's sitting on the window ledge, putting her feet up on the table. You know, that looks like the comfiest bed of all time. It's a table. It's like if this is fake, like what else? is fake. Y'all even lying about your bed. Yeah, she really put the Instagram husband to work. Oh, this really is the definition of fake it till you make it. We're gonna live this fake life on Instagram so we can actually afford it. Salmon. Salmon slices. Not Play-Doh. Oh, the way that they folded it. I don't know. What are they making? Going into some kind of machine, some kind of mold. I don't know. Watch it come out a hairbrush. Wait, that kind of looked like a hairbrush. Is it? No way. I don't know how we started out with smoked salmon, but it's a hairbrush. Or at least the attachment on top. Like, wow. That'd be so satisfying. Just like pop it in. Put it through this machine. And then you get to peel the excess. Oh, those things look crunchy. You know, I was really hoping it was food, but this is acceptable. So apparently this is how you make a tennis ball. Yeah, it's another thing that I never ever thought. Looks like you're making the tennis court. Like, you know, the ground that you play on? How is this gonna turn into a ball? Is the inside of a tennis ball made of asphalt? What's asphalt made of? That is a question for Google. Asphalt is made of crushed stone, gravels, and sand. Okay, I thought it was rock, but now it's starting to look like a ball. They make the molds, and there's two half circles. Do you fill it with anything? Do they fill it with sand to like make Make it, make it a little heavy. You no know, hollow ball ain't gonna cut it. I'm sure machines do it somewhere, but around these parts, it's manual labor to make these balls. You know me, there's somebody putting clothes on the ball by hand. It's like a little outfit. Look at this indecent naked tennis ball. You know, put a hat on him. You know, perhaps some pants, tie it all up, and then take the raw balls and cook them. They put them in the oven. Finish it off with the Adidas logo. Man, they just exposed the Adidas entire operation. You got these men making balls by hand from scratch. I never knew tennis balls get cooked. Put them in a brick oven, bake for 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Uh, you got some fresh baked tennis balls. Fascinating. You learn something new every day. I've always wanted to see this process. I mean, I've reacted to other videos before of them making a mirror, but like, I didn't understand like what's going on. I feel like they're gatekeeping the whole process. It's like they don't want us to know how mirrors are made. But I finally found the video. Look, everybody knows glass is made of sand. So they took sand and this liquid swirled it up. You see how it instantly went clear? And you just pour it and it's a liquid. But look, it's already starting to look like a mirror. So what, as soon as it solidifies, maybe pop it in the freezer. Look, it's a mirror. That's wild that you could just Pour a liquid and wham, bam, you got a mirror. You see your reflection, ma'am. That feels illegal, like pouring a liquid in and then suddenly you can see yourself. Is that not insane? You know, imagine the first person to ever make a mirror. I don't know, I'd be checking out my hair and the reflection in the pond till somebody decided to take sand off a beach and make a mirror out of it. I came across this TikTok page with these very large cakes. And look, this is how they make pastries. You're probably watching this like, what you mean pastries? Somebody making cake in their basement. But wait, you have to trust 
trust the process. We ain't gonna worry about any cross contamination. I was on a gustus gloop of frosting. Okay, it's starting to look perfect now. And then just cut it into smaller cakes. Just wait till you see the finished product. They cut so clean. Now where are all the crumbs? I'm gonna take some newspaper and <gasps> wait, it's that easy? Michael's got me buying an icing kit. You told me you could just wrap up some newspaper and make the most perfect pastry swirls. Y'all gonna put a cherry on it? No, and then y'all are gonna sell them individually. $5.99 a pop. I had no idea this is how they make the pastry cakes. Like it starts out as one big cake and you just slice it up into little itty bitty pieces. It's like it gave birth to 40 little pastry cakes. Congratulations, it's vanilla. The wood grain on a chair. You would think it's the grain from the wood when you cut it. No, this wood ain't got grain. I don't know, these days they be using cardboard for furniture. Wood is expensive. So that's why you hire this guy to literally draw the grain on the wood. Oh, I can't believe I've been lied to my whole life. My kitchen cabinet, they got the wood grain design. That ain't from the tree? Somebody hand drew that? I wanted it to be from the tree. Life is often disappointing. Y'all got some old crusty, musty roads in your neighborhood? Oh, this is a job for the asphalt guy. It literally sprays it brand new. It's like, why clean your room when you can just take the mess and just shove it in your closet? Unsightly blemish, cover it with makeup. Same vibe. This is what a kimchi factory looks like. That's a whole lot of cabbage. Okay, does it go through a slicer? Or? No, they're just soaring through them. If you don't know what kimchi is, it's like Korean pickled cabbage. So like you eat it with your rice, you eat it with egg, it's really good. It's really good for you. Got a whole lot of probiotics to make your tummy really happy. I can get some radishes. Oh, those are dirty. You filthy radishes. You know, get them all nice and clean. Those things are massive. I don't think that's a radish. I don't know what those are. And you have somebody hand cutting. Oh good, nobody likes the butt piece. You know, I feel like there's a machine that could do that. I've seen so many of them, like the, the apple peeler. Like you pop it on this and it just like spins around and shaves the apple. Why can't you do it for this vegetable? I feel like that's a whole lot of manual labor. Oh, this is the best part, when it shreds. Oh, that's a lot of garlic. Wow. Oh, I need me one of these. It's just grinding the garlic. Oh, that must smell so good. Okay, cut to the chase. Some spring onion. Oh, I love me some onion. Everything's just getting shredded. You know, so far this whole process has been so healthy. Just cutting vegetables. And I'm guessing that's the brine. Like when you pickle something, you gotta put it in some brine. What do you need to brine? A lot of salt, a lot of spices. Mix it all up. The industrial spice spiraler, -er -er -er. spiraler, spiraling the spice. It's hard to say. Say that three times real fast. So add in all the shredded veggies. Oh, that must smell wonderful. Oh, what about the cabbage? We forgot about the cabbage. Oh, they've been brining it. They've been soaking for days. You know, you gotta get them nice and clean, nice and soft. Everybody's taking a bubble bath before they get shredded. Those are the pre-cleansing. This is the bubble bath. This is the hot springs. You know, into the boiling water. Now y'all have been bad cabbages. May you burn. That's a lot of cleaning. They really triple rinsed. You know when you buy a bag of spinach and it says triple rinsed? I don't believe you. Until I watch this video, that's definitely triple rinsed. Yeah, they're nice and clean. That's a bowl full of sauce. What now? Coat the cabbage? Oh, they doing this by hand? I feel like you could just dunk it in there. No, you have to massage it. They put in love into every cabbage. Now everything looks so perfect. The way they do it, the way they package it. No, I didn't realize it was so many steps in making kimchi. No, somebody's grandma watching this like I could do it better. With an airtight seal and it is ready to go. What, just straight up? The whole head of cabbage just covered in the sauce? Y'all could have done that from the start. I feel like we could have skipped like 10 extra your steps. I mean, usually I get it in like a jar. It's like this, but like chopped up into little bitty pieces. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.